All right, an evacuation warning is in effect in Solano County near Alamo Creek, and this is a warning, but it could be upgraded to an order. Andy Judson is on the ground near Vacaville, and Andy, how is the creek looking at this point? Yeah, Alex, well, to answer that simply, the creek is looking full. We've been here for about an hour now, and we've seen so many locals coming and going and checking out the creek because they're worried about Alamo Creek. They always say it's the first to flood. I'm going to give you a firsthand look here, and uh, a lot of them across the region are preparing for the next set of storms, and that's why a sandbag station was set up at 1800 Alamo Drive near Fire Station 74, and today it quickly became one of the most popular places in town. That's where we met James Kane, who gave us some sandbag insider tips. This is a bit of an art form. You always want to fill them just half full. Don't fill them full full because then you got to carry them. They don't they won't compress and they won't form right. Now, sandbags are so important because they stop that water from flowing and how a lot of people are, you know, getting the sandbags is because they're estimating it based off of gauges that are actually at the bottom of bridges like this one. And we went online to check what the gauge is at now. It has four different levels with critical being the highest and it's been set at critical for about four days now. One of our residents here we met said he's been monitoring it. He's never seen it go up this high. So it's definitely something worth watching. And of course, we'll continue to keep you updated, but I'll send it back to you now in the studio.